Alright, so welcome back here, ladies and gentlemen. And, and as you can see here, we need to go ahead and just finish up the detailing phase of our bender model. And so what we want to do here now is we want to work specific towards what is going to be our portrait shot. So first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and bring in another camera. So just click your rendering shelf, click camera. We're going to go ahead here and look through camera one and just make sure that we rename this as shot camera. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead here and place the cameras uh, we need. So we need to go ahead and turn on our, our our resolution gate so that we can see exactly um, what we're rendering. We're obviously going to try to not get those arms in there. Um, for the most part, that looks pretty good right there. I just want to go in here and um, turn on my size real quick, which is going to be uh, 3250, 1828, just so that it's going to be a, a fairly large image. Um, we're not going to be rendering with my software. We're actually going to be rendering with V-Ray. Um, so we just want to set up what is going to be our shot just so that we know um, how we have to go ahead and render here and what we have to build specific to our scene. Okay, so right there actually looks pretty good. I just want to try to get get him in the middle here. Okay, and that looks pretty good right there. Or maybe even right there. Okay, so let's come in here and just go back to our perspective camera. Just making sure that we leave our, our rendering cam the way it is. Okay. So looking through our rendering cam, we can see that we need to go ahead and add just the last couple pieces of detail here. Okay, so what I want to go ahead and do here is just jump back here. And we're going to start and work on our um, what is going to be our plug for Bender here. So we'll just come in here and create a polygon. Okay, just come jump, jump into the side view here stay in the middle here and just try and scale that up okay and we will come out and place this here let's go ahead and change our subdivision axes down to something like eight which is going to be fine okay and let's go ahead here and try and add some height here onto our plug 16 should be fine. This should give us more than enough detail to, to go ahead and um, do what we want to do. So let's just go ahead and select some faces here. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and select uh, every other row of faces here. And just do a couple more of these. Okay. Let's go ahead and extrude these out. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and extrude them uh, that way and just pull it out just a little bit more. So when we smooth it, it looks like it's going to be like a, a rubber hose. Almost. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and get this into position here. So we just need to go ahead and rotate this. And I just want to just try and be mindful of how I'm actually placing this and you can see um, right away that this isn't necessarily fitting to, to Bender's head so I just have to definitely rotate this just so that it's going to fit real quick and that looks good right there we might just have to pull it in and then move it in a little more there 
and that looks good so let's just go ahead and select these vertices we'll go ahead and push those in same thing here in the back we'll just go ahead and push those in just making sure that it really looks like he's it's been cupped to his head basically okay Need, might need to go ahead and pull this out just a little bit more just trying to make sure that there's no sort of seam in between vendor and the plug here okay and that looks pretty good and I, right now I'm just uh, thinking to myself well this looks pretty good here so Let's come in here and jump back to our shot cam real quick. Okay, so I want to add probably a little bit of detail here underneath the head. So jump into our perspective view here. And we will just grab a row of faces here. Same here. Okay, we'll go ahead and duplicate these faces off. Just deselect our body. Just go ahead and center our pivot here. Go ahead and extrude these up. And it looks like it's going to be thick enough and, and large enough there. Okay, so let's come in here and just add a couple edge loops onto this. First things, I want to go ahead and bevel that. Come into Edit Mesh, Bevel, and we'll just change the bevel down to be fairly low, just so that that's going to be a really hard shape. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, create our wire, of which is going to look like it's been... Uh, I don't want to say really say ripped out of the wall, but I want it to be plugged into this. Okay, so what <coughs> we can do, and the easiest way to go ahead and do that here is just uh, select these top faces, and we'll go ahead and extrude in. We and the key here is we don't want to make that wire really small. We really want to sort of make that wire um, fairly large here. Okay, and we'll just reselect those faces we'll duplicate them deselect what is the plug here we'll just go ahead and pull this out real quick okay and I want to extrude this along a curve just so I can get the shape that I want okay so we'll draw this in our front view or even in our perspective view which probably isn't necessarily the the greatest idea so Let's come in here and draw it in our front view. Just making sure that we draw it just a little bit larger than normal here. Okay, we'll jump back into our perspective view here. Go back into our shot cam. Just making sure that that wire is going to be off screen. Or the end of it is actually going to be off screen here. So we can just select some of these vertices do that here just trying to adjust the profile of what is our going to be our wire here okay so just jump back to our regular camera here and we will go ahead and just adjust these vertices so that they sort of line up to our face of our polygon sphere in, or our polygon cylinder in here so that we can extrude along the curve okay so just go ahead and select these faces on that polygon top here okay, then select the curve and we'll just simply extrude along the curve okay just up our divisions a little bit here 20 should be fine. That might be a little bit 
a little bit too large so we can probably go ahead and taper this down just a little bit and let's take a look back in our shot cam just making sure that I zoom in probably just a little bit there and that looks good um, so I think that's probably all we need for the modeling phase here um, in part two we'll go ahead and <coughs> do all of our texturing uh, which is going to be fairly simple and then we'll go ahead and do our uh, our rendering with V-Ray and then we'll continue and do our work with uh, our compositing work with Photoshop so I hope you guys have enjoyed the the modeling phase of this um, it definitely wasn't that hard uh, you should be able to go ahead and, and download all the project files from cgtouchplus.com and uh, thanks for watching